Don Budgeft in 1938, he was the first man to win the Grand Slam. That's the Australian, French, British, and American titles all in one year. Records are meant to be broken. We've all heard this and we all agree with this too. This is true for tennis as well. I mean, just think about it. Few would have thought that Roger Federer would one day surpass the record of most Grand Slam titles in men's tennis, which belonged to Pete Sampras. And when Roger Federer did indeed win his 15th Grand Slam title at the 2009 Wimbledon, there wasn't a lot of people who would have imagined Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic threatening to surpass that tally within a decade. There are many more achievements in the history of tennis that are very difficult to achieve. Do you guys want to see the achievements which are nearly impossible to achieve? If yes, then stay with us till the end to find out seven of them. Number 1. More than one Grand Slam in a calendar year Winning all four Grand Slam titles during a player's career, known as the Career Grand Slam, is an impressive accomplishment. The fact that only five players have accomplished the feat attests to its difficulty. The Calendar Slam entails winning all four Grand Slam tournaments in the same calendar year. Only two men have ever accomplished this incredible feat, Don Budge and Rod Laver. Don Budge was the first player in tennis to win the Calendar Slam in 1938, when tennis was just open for professionals and did not open doors for the general public. The great Rod Laver also won the Calendar Slam, doing so in 1962 during the amateur era. Seven years later, Laver made history by becoming the first open-era player to complete the Calendar Slam again. In the process, the lefty became the first player to accomplish the coveted feat twice. Laver was barred from competing in Grand Slam tournaments for five years after turning professional in 1963. Many people, particularly those who were fortunate enough to witness Laver play, believe that if he had been allowed to compete in majors from 1963 to 1967, his final Grand Slam tally would have easily surpassed 20. Given the difficulty of this feat, it's unlikely that any player will win a calendar year Grand Slam even once, let alone multiple times. Number 2. One Grand Slam Tournament and Numerous Titles At Roland Garros, 95 matches were played, 93 matches were won, and 12 titles were won. There are no prizes for guessing who is the proud owner of this incredible achievement. Rafael Nadal has made a habit of winning at the famed court Philippe Chatrier since his debut at Roland Garros in 2005. Only two men have managed to beat him at the tournament in 15 years, such as being the Spaniard's thirst for glory on the Parisian dirt. Something even more amazing is that Rafael Nadal has achieved a 2-0 record in Roland Garros finals, and this achievement has no competitor even close to it. Mind-blowing. Rafael Nadal broke Margaret Court's record for most Grand Slam titles with his four-set victory over Dominic Thiem in the 2019 Roland Garros final. Court won 11 Australian Open titles, but eight of them came before tennis allowed professional players to compete. I think that given Nadal's dominance at Roland Garros, the way it has been, that he may add a few more titles at the Clay Court Grand Slam tournament before hanging up his racket. Number 3. Winning 74 consecutive matches Absolute dominance occurs when a player goes on an unbeaten winning streak, when winning becomes second nature. Martina Navratilova was one player who exemplified that dominance perfectly. Martina Navratilova's record-breaking streak began on February 20, 1984, at the United States Indoor Championships in New Jersey. Over the next 10 months, up until December 7, 1984, Navratilova won 74 consecutive matches the most by any player in the game's history. During this timeline, she got her hands on 13 titles, including Roland Garros, Wimbledon, and US Open Grand Slams. Unfortunately, the end of her longest winning streak happened in 1984, when she was defeated by Hanna Mandlikova. If anyone had come close to achieving this level of success, it is Navratilova, who won 66 consecutive matches from 1989 to 1990. Navratilova is ranked third for the longest winning streak across all surfaces, having won 58 consecutive matches in 1986-87. In 1983-84, the Czech left-hander had a winning streak of 54 games. Number 4. Multiple Boxed Sets Let's first see what a boxed set is. A boxed set is the achievement of winning all 12 Grand Slam titles in singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. 
It is, predictably, much rarer than a career Grand Slam. While no player has ever won all 12 titles in the same calendar year, three women have accomplished this incredible feat during their careers. Because the best male singles players rarely play doubles and even fewer play mixed doubles, no man has come close to winning the career box set. Doris Hart of the United States has achieved it. She was the first player to win the career box set. Hart's story is one of tenacity, grip and remarkable perseverance, and it has inspired generations of tennis players. She had osteomyelitis, which had left her right leg permanently impaired since childhood. Hart amazingly won all three titles at the 1951 Wimbledon Championships, all on the same day, which remains a first for any player. Later, Margaret Court and Martina Navratilova were also able to achieve the box set, but Court has achieved the box set twice. In other words, she's won all three titles at all four Grand Slam tournaments on multiple occasions, which is why she's the only one to do that. Number 5. The Calendar Year Golden Slam Steffi Graf is a tennis legend who's achieved a lot during her career. One of the greatest players of all time, the 22-time Grand Slam singles champion held the world number one ranking for a record 377 weeks, a figure that remains the gold standard to beat more than two decades after her retirement. Graf is one of only four players in history to have won all four Grand Slam titles, as well as Olympic singles gold, a feat known as the career Golden Slam. What makes the German's accomplishment even more remarkable is that she's the only player to have won all five titles in the same year. In 1988, she became the eighth and most recent tennis player in history to win all four Grand Slam titles in the same season. That same year, she won a gold medal at the Olympics in Seoul, completing the elusive calendar year Golden Slam. Graf defeated Chris Evert in the Australian Open final, Natasha Zavera in the Roland Garros final, and Martina Navratilova in the Wimbledon final. She then defeated Gabriella Sabatini in the US Open final before defeating the same opponent in the gold medal match at the Olympics in Seoul. More than three decades after her calendar year Golden Slam, no player has managed to win the calendar Grand Slam, let alone the calendar Golden Slam. Number 6. Longest period as world number 1 The ATP has a system that ranks its players based on points earned. Since 1973, 26 men have held the world number one ranking. Roger Federer is a household name among tennis enthusiasts. He's a number of achievements to his name, but we're only dealing with one aspect of his tennis dominance here. Federer holds the record for the most consecutive weeks as world number one in the rankings. He was number one for 237 weeks in a row. Between February 2, 2004 and August 17, 2008, this amounted to 1,659 days. Federer broke the previous record of 160 weeks, 1,120 days, held by Jimmy Connors, and went on to add so many more weeks to it that it now seems impossible to ever be accomplished again. Number 7. Winning the same Grand Slam titles Rafael Nadal is popularly known as the King of Clay and is a serious contender for the greatest of all-time tag. Nadal has the rare achievement of winning at least one Grand Slam in his teens, 20s, and 30s. He has a career studded with epic comebacks from injuries. But most importantly, Nadal has won a staggering 11 French Open titles. His first win at Roland Garros was in 2005, and his latest in 2018. He won all the French Opens between 2005 and 2018, except in 2009 and 2015 and 2016. Nadal is the only player to have won at least 10 majors. The only active player who can potentially come close to him is Federer, with 8 Wimbledon titles. But he is 5 years older and needs time to match Nadal's French Open, which seems unlikely. So, these were the top 7 incredible achievements of players. Tell us in the comments which one was most fascinating for you.